Hey guys, it's Ivy. Today we're going to be doing a book tag. We're going to be doing the Spooky Scary book tag. Question number one, what goes bump in the night? Name a book that has legitimately scared you. The Diviners by Libba This Brand. one actually really did scare me. John is really, really creepy. If you like 1920s theme, New York, creepy, crawly, paranormal stuff, you'll definitely love this one. Question number two, jack-o'-lanterns and classic costumes. Name a book you always reach for during Halloween. Monster Girls and Monster Boys. I actually haven't gotten to it yet this year. I really did enjoy it last year and it's an anthology, probably my favorite anthology. I believe Bardugo, A.G. Howard, Marie Lu, Daniel Page. There's a really creepy Alice in Wonderland inspired one in here. Also a psycho one that is also inspired. Really scary, creepy, gives you the bone chills. Three, Black Cat and Magic Mirrors, a book you love that is laced with superstition and or magic. So with a 2018 release, which is Holly Black's The Cruel Prince. She is the queen of fairyland. This one is my favorite book she's written this far. If you can pre-order it, you will love it. It's it's amazing. Question number four, which is Brew? Favorite witch character in any book slash series? Manon in Sarah J. Mass's Throne of Glass series. Manon is an awesome witch. She starts off evil, but quickly she'll redeem herself with you. And she faces a lot of trials within herself, with her family, with her clan. She's a really, really cool witch. Iron teeth and iron nails, how can you beat that? That's awesome. Question number five, Ghosts and Ghouls, a book that still haunts you, good or bad. And for that, choose Kill the Boy Band by Goldie Moldavis Moldavisky? I don't know how to pronounce that. If you know, uh, tell me in the comments below. This one was amazing. It's a thriller. It's about these girls that love this boy band and they're staying at the same hotel as the boy band and they end up kidnapping one of the band members and that's when the the story starts so I don't want to say too much just because it it is a thriller number six haunted graveyard you're all alone in a haunted graveyard you get one book to comfort you which is it for that one I'm going to go with Jenny Hans to all the boys I loved before this one is just amazing it's lightweight it's family oriented her sister Kitty is my, actually my favorite character in the whole series. It starts off with uh, her writing letters to all the boys she loved before. They somehow get sent out and all the boys confront her on the love letters that she wrote them. Seven, the undead favorite supernatural creatures to read about. For that one, I'm probably going to go with fairies. I really like vampires too, but fairies are, are always a go-to for me. Number eight, in the dead of night, pick a book with a black cover. House of Furies by Madeline Rue, a little girl named Louisa who has to go to this like boarding house and um, while she's there she encounters different people. One of them is the owner, Mr. Morningside, and the stuff she sees there kind of creeps her out but it's kind of like once you go there you're, you're not going to leave type thing. Oh, I don't remember everything that happened in this book. She meets a, a young boy there that she begins to fear for and that's what she's fighting um, to save his life. You're not going to leave, you kind of die there, so, well you don't kind of die, you do die. So she fears that this little boy her age is going to die and she actually really likes him, she considers him her friend and she doesn't want him to die so she's going to try to save him. It's really creepy, really spooky, I actually flew through it in one sitting. That's it for my spooky scary book tag. Happy Halloween and thanks for watching.